welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like a hot minute since I've uploaded. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, today I am bringing you a really, really cool video. I've never done a video like this, but I have been seeing them recently through Facebook and on YouTube, and I was like, I want to try this. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have seen these videos, but they're videos of people destroying makeup, and I'm just kind of like... <gasps> That looks like so much fun. <laughs> like it looks like it's so satisfying, you know what I mean? Now I have seen these videos where people like just damage like really really expensive makeup. I'm not gonna really be doing that because I just don't have money to replace all my good stuff. I'm like no I really like that. So I decided to kind of do a little bit of a twist. I'm destroying makeup that I don't like. So I figured if I'm gonna be throwing it away anyways and I really don't feel comfortable giving it to somebody else, I don't know if you guys know but makeup actually does expire. They give you like a date of when you should replace it. I, I Sheila, don't replace my makeup when I'm supposed to. <laughs> but I don't feel comfortable giving it to other people to use because you know when I do that they get a rash or something and then I'm like oh my bad. <laughs> So then I was like, well, if I'm just gonna throw it away, I might as well do a fun video with it. You know what I mean? These are all things that I don't like, I don't use. Um, there are a few things that I'm just like, I hit pan on them and there's like no getting anything out of it anymore. So I'm like, eh, let's just throw whatever is left. But other than that, it's just stuff that just didn't work for me and that I never use and I, they're just taking up space and I was gonna throw away anyways. Another thing that I do wanna go ahead and mention, just because I am destroying makeup from certain brands does not mean that I hate these brands I dislike these brands don't recommend these brands no not at all most of these brands I actually really really love it just so happens that there's this one thing that just didn't work for me but other than that I still love the brands I still love everything so don't be creating rumors out there that I hate these brands cuz I don't <laughs> okay you guys so let's go ahead and get this video started okay so I've never actually done a video like this so I don't really know how I'm gonna go about recording it or editing it or editing it for that matter. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you the product, tell you a little bit of why I don't like it. That way I'm not just destroying makeup for no reason. Like, you know what I mean? Like I need to have a purpose to justify me destroying all this makeup. And then I'll go ahead and show you how I went about destroying it. So I'm gonna be destroying this Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. I usually used to use this a lot for like my everyday kind of um, looks, just like running errands, something like wave, but gave me coverage. But I've noticed a little bit that it kind of oxidizes a little bit on me now. I don't know why or maybe it always did that but now it's just a little bit more noticeable to me. And I feel like it tends to get like the elf one throughout the day. I just start to get really oily really quickly and it kind of starts to separate and fall off. And it's just not, I'm not feeling it anymore, you know. But do keep in mind that Wet n Wild does have this photo focus foundation which is really really incredible I'm actually wearing it right now super flawless super amazing six dollars honestly you guys that is one of the best drugstore foundations ever the next one I'm going to be destroying is this clean color madly madly matte lip gloss I don't know why they call it lip gloss it actually really really bothers me because it's a matte liquid lipstick <laughs> so I don't know why they call it lip gloss it's just weird like it's really weird to me but this is actually one of the ones that Christina gave me in a swap so the reason I don't like these is because they're really uncomfortable on the lips like they are really really uncomfortable in my opinion and other than that you need to apply like several layers for it to look even like I just did this swatch on my hand I don't think you'll be able to see it because um, the lights are too bright, but it's really patchy. Like certain spots have products, certain don't. It looks streaky, and it's just not one of those products that I'm like gravitating towards because I'm just kind of like, mm. I don't know, because you have to, it's already uncomfortable as it is doing one layer, but having to do multiple layers to get an even coat is even more uncomfortable. And then it's just really, really weird how it dries. So no, the, and it sucks because these are actually really cheap, so if they worked like really bomb, that would be nice. Now I don't know, maybe it's just this color, I'm not sure. So the next one may actually shock you because I actually really, really love this powder. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in the color Transparent. I actually really love this powder, it's my favorite. I have like two or three backups because I really love this that much. The only reason that I'm going to be destroying it is because I actually hit pan like a long, long long time ago so I haven't really been able to get like um product on my brush evenly enough so I'm like I'm gonna throw it away anyway so let's just destroy it for fun <laughs> the next thing that I'm gonna be destroying is this color icon um glitter single I actually have all the colors but um 
I just want to destroy one of these. These are actually not my favorite. I have used them before, but I just feel like I have such a hard time working with them. Like sometimes I feel like they're so easy to apply and sometimes it's just like impossible. So this one doesn't hurt my heart that much because it's only 99 cents. But um, I just didn't want to destroy all of them. Or should I? No, I'm just going to do one. I, mean, I have commitment issues, so I'm not ready to let go. Even though I probably won't use them, I'll probably add those to my next video. <laughs> the next product I'm going to be destroying is this Pop Beauty Stain Stay Mocha Mist. So this actual stain is actually super beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see it. The color is beautiful, kind of like a nude undertone. Very, very, very nice. The only thing is that it looks so much better on my hand than it does ever when I apply it on my lips. It looks super patchy. Um, it doesn't look even like certain spots are darker and certain parts are lighter. And then I'll try to apply more coats and it just can't seem to get like an even color throughout. And I've also noticed um, usually with stains, they're just really, really drying on my lips. They don't like it. They feel uncomfortable. And I'm like, no, I'm never going to wear it. You know what I mean? And I've already put it on my lips so it's not like I could really give it to someone. Or I shouldn't, so I'm going to destroy it. The next one that I'm going to be destroying is this NYX, NYX, NYX Eyeshadow Cake Powder in Dark Brown. I've tried to use this product for a few, more than a few times. Can't seem to get it to work. I don't know if you guys have the same problem when you have the wax and then the powder separately. But for some reason, it just never seems to stay. It's super hard to blend. It, sometimes it gets really chunky. But I feel like the powders that are in here are really um, chalky. There's so much fallout and I just, I don't like that. It just makes it so much harder to work with. Especially when you do your brows after applying foundation. Like you don't want to be doing your brows and then you have fallout from the eyeshadow. I mean from the brow powder. It's just too much work to clean it up. So I honestly, I have tried to use it. So it's not that I haven't tried. It's just I can't seem to get it to work. The next thing I'm going to be destroying is this Jouer Kitten Liner. So the reason I don't use this is because since I got it, there's times when it doesn't work and sometimes it does work. Like it's like it barely does any color and sometimes it's like bam. Like today it's like bam. Like you can see the color like perfectly fine. But there's times when I try to do it. And then it seems like it ran out of color or something. But another reason that I don't like it is because it does tend to run a little bit. Not a huge amount, but just a little bit. And I feel like I just can't 100% commit to using this because I don't know in what kind of a mood it's going to be. Like if it's going to work fine or if it's going to run today or if it's not going to run. And I just don't like it with liners run because it makes me feel like I'll never have a perfect liner if it starts to run. You know what I mean? So this is actually one of the newer products on my channel. I bought this for the NYX One Brand Tutorial. I'll also link that up there if you guys want to go ahead and watch it. But I bought this mascara. Brought. I bought this mascara at Ulta. They didn't seem to have very good reviews on any of the mascaras. But honestly, I hated this mascara. It made my lashes look clumpy. It didn't really do much of anything. It started falling off really fast. It just, it didn't do much for me. And obviously when it comes to mascara, you don't really want to give this to anybody else. Because that's just not sanitary. <laughs> so I'm going to be destroying this as well. So I'm also going to be destroying this e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick in the color Ivory. So I did go ahead and do a one brand tutorial. I'll link it up here if you guys want to go ahead and see it. Um, so when I first used it, I actually really, really loved it. I thought it was cool. It was like nice, lightweight. But keep in mind, when I do these videos, I usually like do my video and at the end I'll give you my final thoughts. So it's really between like an hour or two time span. It's not like a long day enough for me to be like wow like this worked great throughout the day I usually just say you know how I feel at that moment after applying it or when I'm doing my ending but the more that I use this foundation for long terms or longer increments of time I've noticed that it made me really really oily now bear in mind I do have dry skin but this made me super super oily and I noticed that the um, foundation started to separate and then I would kind of have blotchy spots because it was starting to kind of remove itself like if I touch myself I would have fingerprints you know what I mean like it never really set so as I started using it for a longer time, I was like, this is not going to work. So I haven't really used this since I did that one brand tutorial. There's always that one fly. Since doing that one brand tutorial, so I was like, this probably already expired, so let's just destroy it. Okay, so I'm sure this is not going to be shocking or surprising to any of you. But this actually, um, I went ahead and did a first impression slash review demo. I'll go ahead and link it up top, but it's using the Eevee Blender. And I hated this. It just didn't blend my foundation. It made my pores look really, really 
huge like more than usual and it just made my makeup lay on top of my skin like it didn't blend it didn't melt it just laid there like you know and I was like uh, that's not cute so I figured I was gonna throw away this so I might as well just cut it up you know what I mean now I am gonna be destroying a Morphe palette I know just listen so keep in mind Morphe has changed since I first bought this palette this was my first Morphe palette ever I know now I feel sad destroying it <laughs> Um, but I got the 35W, so keep in mind, obviously, like any other brand, when they first start off or when they're initially in the first kind of years of getting their business started, putting products out there, their quality is not the same as it is today. Obviously, we know Morphe just did a collab with Jaclyn Hill. I mean, they have progressed a lot. They're very, very popular, and I do think that their products have also progressed for the most part as they have grown as well. So this was one of the first palettes I bought and I honestly think I've used this palette like once on my second ever tutorial because I honestly hated it. But when I first had it, I thought it was amazing. I thought the quality was amazing. I thought the pigmentation was crazy good. But I feel like obviously my makeup skills and my exposure to makeup and good quality has also changed. So I feel like now I'm able to kind of tell the difference of what's good quality, what isn't, um, in my opinion. So when I use this palette, I remember having to like do so many layers on it for it to actually show the pigmentation and I was like, oh that's fine, it's not a big deal. But other Morphe palettes now don't do that. So I haven't actually reached for this since then because I just can't seem to get it to work. But I remember this was the color that I was trying to use. I used it like 10,000 different ways. Um, because it is, it's meant to be a shimmer, but once you get like deeper in there, it kind of loses its shimmer. Um, so I tried everything anyways. It was like impossible. I made it work, but now I know it's not the greatest quality. So I don't know if you can see my pinky. There's the, the, um, the shadow. So I did go ahead and swirl it a few times, not just once, like a few good times. And then let me go ahead and put it here. So that's it and then every time you try to blend it would always lose um like the pigmentation but drastically you know what i mean like you wouldn't be able to see it so if i wanted it to really look like this i had to do layers and layers and layers and layers so this is just one of those palettes that i didn't enjoy i don't think the pigmentation is there now keep in mind maybe the 35w now has better quality better pigmentation but this one that i have was not so um it's really old i've had this for almost over a year and a half and i just don't feel comfortable giving it to anybody because what if i had like an eye infection or something when i used it that one time um or it's just it's been too long that i don't want to give it to somebody and then something happens and i'm like no so i'm gonna be destroying it i also have this essence all about matte fixing compact powder um i got this about more than a year and a half ago not this generation beauty but the one before and it's this i just i don't know it doesn't seem to work for me it doesn't really mattify i mean i'm not really oily to begin with but when i try to use it it just doesn't doesn't really make anything different you know I usually tend to get a little bit oily throughout the day like towards the end of the day in my t-zone area even though I have really dry skin but this doesn't seem to help that and I really don't like the fact that it's white like it's just it's weird that it's white you know if it were like transparent then okay but I feel like sometimes it does give you an off color because it is white um, so yeah, I'm just going to destroy it because I've been having it for such a long time. I don't use it. It doesn't work for me. So why keep it? You know? So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was really, really interesting and really fun. It's like really satisfying for whatever reason. I definitely recommend for you guys to try this out. Instead of throwing your makeup away, just destroy it. It's just like... Like, you see... Ooh, it's like a stress reliever. You know what I mean? It's just like... You can just relax for a little bit. Like, vent. Just... You're going to throw it away anyways, you know? Now, I do want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what products you guys hate, don't like, like, why don't you recommend it? Like, what did it do to you for you to hate it so bad? I want to know what that product is for you guys. And also let me know if you like these kind of videos. I mean, like I said, I had a lot of fun. So maybe I could do this again in a few months after I collect a little bit of more stuff that I hate. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.